Welcome to Blend Evolution. Today we're going to be featuring the Blend Evolution Evo X1500. This blender has 1500 watts, 15 amps, and a 3.5 horsepower motor. This blender also offers a 64 ounce jar, actually allowing you to actually blend 70 ounces, 2 liters. Today we're going to go over the main functionality of the blender and how you operate this unit, and then we're going to get into the performance of the actual blending. Now this blender is equipped with three on buttons which will allow you to either manually or digitally uh, blend your product. First we're going to start with the main power switch that's located on the side of the blender. This allows the blender to be turned on. And then now we're going to turn on the on switch on the digital display which would allow you to operate the blender uh, digitally. Thirdly, we're going to if you were going to blend manually, you could turn on the on and off switch would allow you to operate the blender in two cycles, either a high cycle or a low cycle. And the on and off switch located on the right hand side of the unit. Now, this blender is also equipped with a continuous cycle which is located right under the on and off switch on the LCD panel. And then we have an 8 second cycle, a 12 second cycle, a 30 second cycle, a 60 second cycle, and we have an impact button which would allow you to blend for 30 seconds which would allow the blender to go up to its peak performance and then begin to shut off and on. And then lastly we have the high pulse and the low pulse function. And this would allow you to either go in to send the blender into a high uh, functionality or a low functionality for good bringing the things down to the bottom of the blender and allowing it to be pulled down to cycle through and being chopped up fine. Um, this blender can run all day long um, without losing any power uh, with the 1500 watts, 15 amps and a 3.5 horsepower motor allows you to blend consistently throughout the day. This blender can also be used at home. Uh, some of the comparable blenders out there are the Vitamix, the Barboss um, and also the Blendtec uh, blenders. Uh, these blenders are different from our blender, the Blend Evolution EX1500, uh, due to the fact that this blender allows you to use a digital and manual uh, functionality. Uh, this blender is also equipped with a full sound enclosure, easily washable, and it can be easily removed for cleaning. Um, so now we're going to go into the functionality of the blender and show you some of the performance of the blender and um, you know just sit back relax and enjoy. Now that we finish showing you the overall functionality we want to get into the performance of the unit and first we're going to start by adding our product in there a little milk and we've just added a frappe based powder. Uh, when blending you want to put the blender on eight seconds first to allow your powder or solution uh, to mix in well. So first we're going to start with eight seconds. Now that everything's mixed up, we're going to add our ice, which is about 20 ounces of ice. And now we're going to set the blender on the digital setting. Now we're going to start blending the cycle on a 30 second cycle.
again, these cycles are pre-programmed um, for blenders, products such as smoothies, frappes, um, things like that. If you were to need to blend continuously, you could go to the manual functionality, which would allow you to just run the blender um, for a continuous period. Uh, beyond that, you could use the high and low pulse feature as well as the impact or any of the other pre-programmed um, digital functions which could be 8, 12, 30, or 60. Depending on what type of product you're using and how much, you may only want to blend for 8, 12, 30. And for longer and better smoother blends, you want to use 60 seconds. So let's see exactly how our blender did. And voila, smooth to the last drop. No ice chips, smooth and consistent product. And this is what you can expect from the Blend Evo X1500. Thank you for joining us today.